Okay, this is example number four. What shall we do if we have a current source? This is a special case. When we have a current source in the circuit, what shall we do? So example four, analyze the circuit. The meaning of analyze the circuit it means find the voltages and currents in the circuit. So this is our circuit. This is our circuit. As you can see, we have one loop here, another loop. So because we have two loops, we shall have I1 here. And we will have also I2 here. But here I have a current source. Now the problem with the current source is if you remember the voltage source it has certain voltage 10 volts but the current is unknown. For the current source we have certain current but the voltage is unknown. Now, if the voltage is unknown, how would I write KVL for this loop? I cannot write KVL for this loop because the voltage across the current source is unknown. So, the, to solve this problem, this is the it's actually, it makes the problem easier when you have a current source. A current source at the side of a loop. At the side of a loop here, or here, or here, but definitely not here. If the current source in, at the center, it, then it's a special case. It needs special treatment. But if the current source to the side, that is not between the two loops, it makes the problem easier. Because right away we can say for loop 2, no need to write an equation. The current in this loop is equal to 2 milliampere. The current I2 is equal to 2 milliampere. And we are giving it minus sign because it is going up. And we are, our current is, is going down. But this one is going up, so it will take minus sign. So that is equation number one. So no need to write an equation for loop two. So for loop one, the normal, the normal thing, we write the equation here, plus 20, minus 3i1, minus 4i1, minus i2, minus 5i1, equal zero. Now we just need to arrange the equation and when we arrange the equation we can substitute I2 by minus 2 in order to get I1. So I just substituted so minus 12 I1 is equal minus 12 so the current I1 is equal 1 milliampere. Very simple. So whenever we have a current source to the side, it makes the problem easier. So the, it is here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here, it makes the problem easier. But if it is here, then it is, it's, it's another special case that requires special treatment. Now, the question is asking for the voltage across this resistance, find voltage across 4 kilo. So to find the voltage, which similar to what we have solved before, the voltage, it is equal to for the resistance multiplied by I1 minus I2. I1 minus I2, because uh, the voltage across this resistance will be I1 minus I2. Now we just need to substitute I1 is 1 milliampere, so 1. 
I2 is negative, so 1 minus minus 2. So 1 minus minus 2 is, is 1 plus 2. So this will become 3. So 4 times 3 will give me 12 volts.